Before I found out I had breast cancer, I was just living a normal life, working every day. One morning I woke up and I couldn't breathe and I had to rush myself to the hospital. During 2012, I was diagnosed with stage four breast cancer. My biggest concern was not being able to be independent because I'm a very independent person. I was amazed when I first met Erica. She just, she, she has a, a beautiful, calming presence about her. She's, she comes and she just has this great, happy energy. She has goals and she has priorities and it's, great to see that she knows what she wants to do with her life and she knows that she wants to work and she knows that she wants to go to school and that she wants to be a nurse and she is persistent in that and she really perseveres and she has that independence that she's going to do that. Movable Face and the Red Devils started their partnership in 2002. It just opened the door for us to serve other life-threatening illnesses so I'm thankful for the Red Devils for just opening that door for us. When Erica's application came across my desk, I read her date of birth, and the first thing came to my mind was she's younger than my son. I couldn't believe it. I just had to, it, it stopped me. I just stopped. I just stopped what I was doing. I was so taken back from her age. I told my coworkers, we just have to get on service right away. I wanted to make sure she started receiving our food service to help her fight this disease. I have clients that called me and just cried and said, you just don't understand what you guys are doing. We feed people, fight disease, and foster hope. I think I'm a part of the hope. It's nice to take one more burden off of Erica, right? Because if you're going to school and you're working and then you are all of a sudden in the hospital for two weeks, then how are you supposed to finish paying your rent? How are you supposed to do that? And so that's where the Red Devils comes in and they say, we're going to make this happen for you. We're going we're gonna to fill that gap. Obviously, it takes the financial burden off of Erica, but it also, it's an emotional support as well because it's, it's telling her that, that she's a priority and that her goals are a priority and that people in the community care and that she matters. The Red Devils are a phenomenal organization. They have a great president, they have a great staff, and everybody just is on the same page in terms of, of what their goals are and how they want to help the community with the services that they have to offer. I feel that the Red Devils are a great organization to give money to because the money goes directly to the patients and to their families as opposed to going to their overhead and administrative costs. The Red Devils have given me hope. They just, they help you live life to the fullest extent. I would like to thank the donors because your donations have helped me out tremendously. No matter who you are, no matter where the donations come from, like, just know that it really, it really plays on a person's heart when they know they have people that care.